It's a, definitely a sign of someone that could think and imagine and be creative. And like you competitive. take competitive, if you're competitive and you can think uh, and you're willing to put work in, it's basically the archetype of successful people. I see that a lot. It is. And, and you know what? It is a phase. But, you know, back in the day when we, we were playing video games, but we'd go out and play, dude. Hide yeah. and seek, chase, whatever you want to call it, right? We'd be out till till like nine o'clock at night until our parents told us to come in, right? Out playing, running around, come back sweaty, dirty. Now people communicate through yeah. Xbox, right? Their friends are on, they got the headset on. That's that's their version of playing today, yes. right? Whereas back in my day, it was we were outside playing, exercising, whatever. It's just different. It's, we can learn a lot about culture from these games because the brain can't actually tell what is real and not real, and it goes back to what you said earlier, and I'll explain what I mean, that what brokerage someone's at, what, who the people are that are there, mm -hmm. and what they believe in, which is the culture, is so important because the brain can't determine what the difference between reality here and the video game, and what that means is the neurotransmitters in our brain, the serotonin, the oxytocin, the dopamine. Mm -hmm. Dopamine is addict addiction, goal setting. Serotonin is leadership, speaking, mm -hmm. and serving. And oxytocin is serving. Mm -hmm. Those neurotransmitters are released when someone plays that game to the point where it's so addictive. It's the same exact neurotransmitters released when we do drugs. It's, it's fact. Well, what we can learn about culture is when the vision, the purpose, the mission, the goals, the belief systems are so clear. And if you no notice in those games, there's always leaders, there's always guilds. There's groups of people oh, yeah. that meet up and someone's a leader that drives what they believe, drives what they have in common, and they can communicate and learn together. It's almost like they have team meetings, they train together, they bond together. What we can learn from culture is how to drive a successful company's culture to increase pro productivity and decrease turnover yeah. comes from mirroring what those video games use. The armor, the title, the smell, the color, mm -hmm. the hierarchy of competence, meaning like the titles that matter and have meaning to them. Absolutely. It's like I was so addicted to those games because I was involved in a cult like following. I had a character that was an avatar that represented my social status in relation to the game. Yeah. I got judged on my s skills, which reverted back, you know, increased my social status. And it and made me feel loved and belong because I didn't feel loved. You know, I felt lonely growing up. Sure. So I got on the game and that made me feel loved. And then I was really good at it. And that made me feel confident. But it was a mask because I never worked out what was inside. Sure. So all I did was play the thing and get taken out of my mother. What a <laughs> great job! I'm okay. psychoanalyzing job. myself right here with you. Absolutely. Like, ooh, what, this I is good stuff. Though. This is like, this is culture matters. This is what we do.